time for Donkey of the Day. Donkey of the Day, ask Charlemagne. I'm a Democrat, so being Donkey of the Day is a little bit of a mixed up. So like a donkey. Yeehaw, okay. Donkey of the Day. <laughs> the Breakfast Club, bitches. Now, I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but Donkey of the Day is a new one. Well, Donkey of the Day for Monday, January 30th, goes to our celebrity-in-chief, Donald J. Trump. This is the Donald's first donkey as a president. He's only been in office for 10 days, and you know how they say presidents are supposed to unify the country. Well, Donald has unified some of us two Saturdays in a row, first with the Women's March and this past Saturday with his Muslim ban. Oh, Donald is keeping promises. He told you he was going to build the wall to keep illegal immigrants from crossing the border, and he signed an executive order to do just that. He told you he was going to ban all Muslims until they found out what the hell was going on with Muslim extremists, and he signed an executive order to do just that. And that action brought a bunch of civil-minded people together this past Saturday in protest. Look, I'm not a political person. Uh, I can't sit here and break down any policies for you. I'm not even down with any particular party. I don't have any direction. I'm not left. I'm not right. Up, down, select, start, A, B. I simply know what feels right in my spirit and what feels wrong in my spirit. And what I saw this weekend felt absolutely positively wrong. Now, when you want to have a proper understanding of how to treat people, all you have to do is look no further than kindergarten. We all learned in kindergarten the golden rule, doing to others as you would have them doing to you, treat people the way you want to be treated. That is the foundation for every relationship you have with any other human on this planet. What you should build on that foundation is that if you want to see a person's true character, watch how they treat people who can't do anything for them. And all I'm seeing right now from our government is a bunch of rich, elitist, so-called powerful people abusing their so-called power, rendering people who can't do anything for them powerless. And that, to me, is the true sign of a sucker. Because there's nobody in that administration who are treating Muslims like this would allow themselves or any member of their family to be treated in this manner. Now, I understand what the ban is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a vetting process to make sure we're not letting any Muslim extremists into the country. Uh, our celebrity in chief, Donald J. Trump, explained it this weekend. Let's hear it. I'm establishing new vetting measures to keep radical Islamic terrorists out of the United States of America. We don't want them here. We want to ensure that we are not admitting into our country the very threats our soldiers are fighting overseas. That's right. As, as it's not a Muslim ban. It's a ban on Muslims. Don't listen to the media. They are trying to spin this. Look, I don't think any American is against a thorough vetting process, but uh, are foreign-born Muslims really that much of a threat? I'm just trying to figure this out because since 9-11, homegrown white supremacists and similar extremists have killed more Americans in the U.S. than Islamic terrorists. Now, if you can prevent another 9-11, by all means, do it. But it seems that if your goal is to save lives and stop extremists, maybe we should start in our own backyard instead of singling out a group of immigrants from one religious group. Okay, it seems to me the only people being hassled and inconvenienced by this ban is regular, everyday, foreign-born Muslims who have all the proper credentials to be in this country. <laughs> Donald Trump says he doesn't want to admit any of the radical Muslim extremists in this country. Let, let's hear some. Let's hear from some of them. Okay, these two young ladies were waiting at the airport to pick up their mom, who they haven't seen in quite some time. Her flight was in the air when Trump's ban passed. The two girls found out their mother would be deported as soon as she landed at JFK. Let's hear from them. We're waiting for my mom, and we don't know nothing. We just spoke to her for one minute, and she was crying. She was scared. She was scared. Why? What are you as citizen? She up, she's approved. She got her visa on the 16th, and she flew in. And while she's in the air, that man came out, and I don't know. She doesn't have anything to do with it. We serve this country. We shouldn't be treated like this. We have like our family in the military. Like not every Muslim is a bad Muslim. You know, all we want is our mom. They had family in the military who served this country. Oh, that's a real threat right there. What about the Muslim man who had been an American citizen for 15 to 20 years? He was a contractor who made houses for American people, but was told his brother's going to be deported back to Iran. Let's hear him. Somebody called us, said, I'm sorry, I have bad news for you. Brother is here. I said, can I talk to him? He said, no. He's going to just deport it tomorrow with the first uh, airline. I said, what I can do? He said, nothing. But we are people. We are not the government. We are not doing nothing. Why I have to be punished for the somebody else's problem? I don't know what I have to do. I am a U.S. citizen about 15, 20 years old. Yes, I am a contractor. I am working hard here. I am working hard here. I am building a house for the people, the American people. And I am American too. Yeah, that's crazy. Those are real threats.
Mm-hmm. Uh, not to mention, no perpetrator of a major terrorist attack in the United States is held from a country on Trump's list. In fact, a recent study from the Cato Institute said that the odds of an American being killed by an immigrant terrorist of faith are one in 3.6 million. The odds of being killed by a refugee specifically are even higher, one in 3.6 billion. I don't see the point in profiling Muslims. Where's the where's this irrational fear coming from? You you have a better chance of being struck by lightning than being killed by an Islamic jihadist immigrant. You have a better chance of being killed by a random anybody here in America than you do of being killed by an Islamic jihadist immigrant. Look, I- I'm happy that the Trump administration wants to keep America safe, but it has to be a better way. It has to be a better vetting process that properly represents the liberty and justice for all that this country is supposed to be about. You know that whole freedom, justice, and equality thing America stands on? Well, it's looking like prejudice, discrimination, and bigotry in the light. Okay, please give our celebrity in chief, Donald J. Trump, the biggest hee haw. Sad. And remember, it's Real not sad. it's not a Muslim ban. It's a ban on Muslims. It's the same thing. Okay. And by the way, I'm more concerned about the Trump administration <laughs> killing us than I am Islamic jihadist immigrants killing us. Okay. Notice I said concerned, not scared, because the only thing I fear is God. The Breakfast Club. 